Ready? Ready? Everybody, please stand for the flag salute. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, and liberty for the best of all. Madam Clerk. Yes, Mayor. Um, okay, Board of Commissioners public meeting. Today's Tuesday, July 18th, 2023, and the time is 7.03. Pursuant to the requirements of the Open Public Meeting Act, Chapter 231, Public, public Law 1975, notice of this meeting was published in the December 8th, 2022 issues of the Nutley Sun, the Herald News, and the Star Ledger. A copy of this notice has been posted on the Nutley Town Hall Bulletin Board, and a copy is also on file in the Municipal Clerk's Office. Commissioner Kelly? Present. Commissioner Evans? Here. Commissioner Petraco? Here. Commissioner Tucci? Here. Mayor Scarpelli? Here. All present, Mayor. Minutes? Yes, Mayor. Uh, we have regular meeting minutes for June 20th, 2023. In motion, please. Move it. Second. Commissioner Kelly? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. And that's all for minutes, Mayor. Reports. Uh, Commissioner Petraco? Yes, I have my public safety report, Mayor. Thank you. I have uh, monthly various monthly progress reports from Public Works. Commissioner Evans? I have the code enforcement second quarter report and the monthly report for June. Bills, Madam Clerk. Yes, Mayor. Um, bill list for July 18th, 2023. Public Affairs, $119,226.88. Revenue and finance, $3,893,757.86. Public safety, $83,170.70. Public works, $112,977.38. Parks and public property, $630,852.14. Water utility, $23,401.91. Payroll for Friday, June 23rd, 2023, regular payroll total, $859,219.30. Overtime payroll, $65,142.81. Grand total, $5,787,748.98. Move the bills. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. And that's all for bills, Mayor. Public comment on agenda items only, Madam Clerk? Yes, Mayor. Um, all persons addressing the Board of Commissioners regarding community concerns should approach the microphone and provide their name for the record. Unless further time is granted by the Board, each person shall limit their address to three minutes. All remarks to the board and its individual members must be addressed to the mayor. The mayor may defer citizen comments to the appropriate member of the board. Anybody wish to address the board of commissioners on agenda items only? Seeing none, let's move on to board of commissioner announcements. Commissioner? Mayor, I just have one. Which we had the mobile DMV unit here on July 13th. Uh, it was very successful. They, they did license renewals, registrations, uh, motor vehicle inspections, and it went very well. I just wanted to uh, congratulate everyone on a job well done. Uh, uh, Commissioner Petraco, thank you for the police support, and Mara, as always, thank you for the use of the parking lot. Uh, it, it takes it takes more than one person. It takes a village, uh, and we didn't, again, and they'll be back again in the fall. Good. Mr. Tucci? Yes, Mayor, thank you. Um, I have good news this evening. We have been awarded a grant for up to $15,000. And I can't give you an exact amount because they didn't give us an exact amount yet from the state of New Jersey to address this whole spotted, lan spotted lantern fly uh, problem that's been going on. Uh, so once we, once we get the actual contract documents and everything is executed, we'll be spraying and hopefully getting rid of this, this nuisance on all public property. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Commissioner. I, I actually I do, Mayor. Um, on a kind of a sad but nice note, tomorrow would have been my mom's 83rd birthday. Tomorrow is her birthday. She was probably the only person on earth that could tell me to knock it off, and I would. So she's missed very, very much. Happy birthday to my mother in heaven. And on a sad note, 
Notley lost um, Nick Messina. He was a Bloomfield guy in his mid fifties. Suddenly had a heart attack. He actually lived on okay. Hope Street. He leaves behind a little baby, two years old, and a loving wife and a brother. And I have to tell you, Nick was like a, a gentle giant. He was a wrestler who wrestled Joe Pyro back in the day. And to see him, you would never believe he was a tough guy. Made it all the way down to the States. So if we could just um, have a moment of silence for Nick, I'd appreciate it, Mayor. Thank Chris, you. If we could, if we could add uh, Mr. Bruno's uh, father-in-law. Grandfather-in-law, right? Yes. Grandfather-in-law. Absolutely. To that moment of silence in a couple more minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Fisher Kelly. Thank you, Mayor. I have a couple announcements. Uh, the first one is I want to thank uh, everyone in the township who came out uh, last Tuesday uh, to both welcome home uh, Anthony DePetta the World War II veteran whose remains were found uh, 600 miles south of Guam in uh, under 100 feet, 120 feet of ocean water. Uh, he finally came home nearly uh, 80 years later uh, and also that the, to send him off the correct way. Uh, uh, General Patton said, uh, don't mourn the, uh, the men that we lose. Thank God that uh, such men lived. And we thank God that Anthony, uh, his life was filled with love of his family, his friends, and his country that he laid down his life for our freedoms. And we were honored that uh, he called Nutley home. And uh, I want to thank everyone for coming out and supporting him and his family uh, in uh, as he made his final journey to his final resting place. I also want to thank the uh, kids uh, at the uh, Let's Learn program. Uh, we, we were spearheading an effort at the Nutley Department of Public Affairs and Health Department uh, for the Christmas in July to start raising funds for the holiday treasure chest, uh, which will take place in December. But we wanted to start getting a head start on it. And the kids at the Let's Learn took up a collection and raised uh, over a hundred dollars in, in donation. And so uh, these this, this, these kids, the the next generation, that, that just shows you that they're they're true Nutley kids. That they're by Nutley for Nutley, and they look after one another. And uh, so I was very moved by that donation and their, their their generosity and i hope uh, the rest of the town emulates that generosity and lastly uh next tuesday uh we have the uh the mobile hepatitis uh van outside the health department uh it's it's not for uh vaccination but it's for testing so hepatitis b and hepatitis c uh if you need more information reach out to the nutley public affairs and health department thank you thank you commissioner you know, Mayor, if I, if I just might add to that, bringing Anthony home, which was really, really spectacular, I have to say, I just want to thank all the surrounding um, towns with the police escorts, too. We just put something on the Internet, and it was, I mean, there must have been 30 other um, towns with the police cars there. So I'd like to thank all of them as well. Anything else? Yep. Yeah. Mayor, I hate to pile on with the sad news, but we uh, we also lost another great Nutley today. Uh, Jimmy Murray, uh, who has been involved uh, with our programs for years and years and his children and his entire family passed away early this morning. So if everyone could just keep him in your prayers. Thank you, Commissioner. Ordinance introductions, Commissioner Evans. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, ordinance number 3523, this is a bond ordinance. Uh, appropriating $288,750, authorizing the issuance of bonds or notes of the township for various water utility improvements uh, or purposes authorized to be undertaken by the township uh, uh, in the county of Essex. I move that this ordinance be passed to a second reading and advertised in the Nutley Sun together with the notice required by law and that further consideration of said ordinance for final passage by the Board of Commissioners be held at its second reading on August 15th, so move. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Uh, my second introduction is ordinance number 3524. This is a bond ordinance appropriating $2,073,750 authorizing uh, bonds or notes 
of the township for various improvements or purposes authorized uh, to be undertaken by the township uh, uh, for uh, uh, various levels of improvement. Uh, this uh, ordinance, as well as the first one, is part of our ongoing capital and uh, management program uh, so that uh, we do this every year. Uh, and uh, we, it helps us actually uh, improve the township while making sure that we keep our debt service costs uh, at a minimum. Uh, I move that this ordinance be passed to a second reading and advertised in the Nutley Sun together with a notice required by law and that further consideration of said ordinance for final passage by the Board of Commissioners be held at its second reading on August 15th, 2023, so move. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Thank you, Commissioner. Let's move on to public hearings, Commissioner Petraco. Yes, Mayor, I have ordinance number 3517, in order to be amended by an ordinance codified in the code of the Township of Dolly, Chapter 673, entitled Vehicles, Impoundment, and Towing, particularly Article 7, entitled Towing and Storage Fees Schedule to be re revised Towing and Storage Fees. Open the public um, hearing. Would anybody like to be heard on ordinance number 3517? Seeing none. Move to close. Second. Commissioner Kelly? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Bachaco? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Move the ordinance. Second. Commissioner Kelly? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Bachaco? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. That's all I have. Commissioner Kelly? Thank you, Mayor. I also have an ordinance on for a uh, public hearing tonight. This is ordinance number 3520, an ordinance to amend the salaries of certain officers and employees of the township of Nutley. Uh, this is to create a health officer position uh, with a minimum base salary and a maximum base salary. I move to open the public hearing. Anybody like to be heard on ordinance number 3520? Seeing none. Uh, move to close. Second. Commissioner Kelly? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Pachaco? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Move the ordinance. Second. Commissioner Kelly? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Pachaco? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Thank you, Commissioner. Commissioner Evans? Thank you, uh, Mayor. I have one resolution, uh, 160 23. Uh, this uh, resolution authorizes the uh, a treasurer to refund overpayments of water charges for uh, 223 Franklin Avenue in the amount of $68.49 for the year 2023. So move. Second. Commissioner Kelly? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Pachaco? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. I have a uh, resolution on behalf of the Board of Commissioners, whereas there exists the need by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley for specialized professional planning and consulting services to be rendered by a professional relating to the investigation and redevelopment of property identified as Block 3100, Lots 21, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, and 43 on the official tax map of the Township of Nutley known as the Chicken Leany Redevelopment Area with such planning and professionals to be appointed by the Board of Commissioners as a non-fair and open contract pursuant to the provisions of Gen NJSA 1944A 20.5. Whereas DMR Architects of 777 Terrace Avenue, Suite 607, Hasbro Heights has completed and submitted a business entity disclosure certification which certifies that the firm has not made any reportable contributions to a political candidate or candidate committee in the township in the previous one year that will violate either NJSA 1944A-20.5 or the township's local unit pay to play ordinance adopted by referendum or any all relevant executive orders or the NJ ELEC disclosure requirements that re that will appoint, will bar the firm from making any reportable contributions to the term of the, point, the appointment. Whereas the board of commissioners have reviewed the qualification of the firm have deemed them appropriate and acceptable and consistent with the professional planning service required by the Board of Commissioners. And whereas the local public contracts law has, as amended requires that this resolution be publicly advertised, now therefore be resolved by the Board of Commissioners Township of Nutley as follows. 
The Board of Commissioners, in accordance with local public contract law, hereby authorizes and approves the appointment of DMI, DMR architects as the township's professional planner and consultant in connection with the specialized professional planning service required or desirable for the investigation and redevelopment of the following of the following uh, following block and lots on the official tax maps of the township, but not only known as the Chickalini Redevelopment Area, in an amount not to exceed $25,000 pursuant to a non-fair and open process in accordance with the provisions of NJSA 1944A 20.5. Two, the Chief Financial Officer of the township has executed or will execute a certification of funds for the appointment and that the sufficient funds are available for said appointment. Three, the contract term is from March 15, 2023 through March 14, 2024. Four, the business entity disclosure certification, business entity disclosure of campaign contributions and termination of value shall be placed on file with this resolution. Five, a copy of this resolution or a summary thereof shall be published within 10 days of its adoption or as otherwise as required by law. Six, this resolution shall take effect immediately, but no sooner than as permitted by law. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Kelly? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. That concludes, uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, that concludes the business portion of our meeting. Would anybody from the public like to address this? Madam Clerk? Uh, yes, Mayor. All persons addressing the Board of Commissioners regarding community concerns should approach the microphone and provide their name for the record. Unless further time is granted by the Board, each person shall limit their address to five minutes. All remarks to the Board and its individual members must be addressed to the Mayor, and the Mayor may defer citizen comments to the appropriate member of the Board. Give your name and address. Paul DeLuca, of the 40 Washington Avenue, Uh I've been living down there for 20 years. The oh, side of the curbs haven't been painted in 20 oh, years. Oh, sir, please speak into the microphone. Yes, <laughs> thank you. You can pull it out, yes. You can take it out. Yeah. Good. I've been thank living you. down on 40 Washington for 20 years. The curbing hasn't been painted in 20 years. There's a fire hydrant at the end of the block. Okay, two weeks ago, I rode down the bottom of the street and it was covered, you couldn't see it. I wanted to see Paul Cofone. Paul Cofone, show, I showed him the picture, an hour later the grass was cut. Now I'm trying to get that fire hydrant painted. I've been getting a runaround from everybody. It's this person's problem, it's that person's problem, it's this person's problem. Nobody would come forward and say, who's responsible for doing this? I mean, it's a safety issue down there. There's parking problems and it's a safety issue. And furthermore, the back street on the Cola Drive, the trees are growing over into the street. You can't see the sidewalk back there. And that's been going on for 20 years. We can't get a hold of the, the railroad place. But it's a disaster down there. You guys don't go down there and ride in that back street. It's a disaster. They dump garbage, mattresses. I got pictures of people dumping mattresses down there at nighttime. Nobody wants to do nothing. You know why? That's on the outskirts of nothing. If it was around, I don't want to say, it, your gentleman's houses, it wouldn't be happening right now. But nobody goes down there. Nobody knows what goes down there except for me because I live there. But I try to keep here and not. Mr. Luke, we appreciate you bringing it to our concern that that uh, hydrant will be painted this week. That's my responsibility. I don't about, know who was giving you the runaround, but well, that's listen, my. I, went, I, went, I don't even want to start. Who am I at? Who do you want to be involved? Somebody told me a while ago, wait till they hire the summer help to paint the fire hydrants. That was five years ago. It'll be painted this week. Okay. Uh, and what about and, and, and Mr. Mr. Capone did, uh, Chief Capone did contact the Public Works Department. We went down there and cleaned it out. So, and, uh, so, and as far as Washington Avenue is concerned, uh, that is, that is a state highway from the Belleville line to Park Avenue. And that is scheduled to be paved, we're going to say, in the next year because Why, of the way the state. They're putting new sidewalks in there, too? I don't know about sidewalks, but they're, 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 they're doing oh, curbs okay. and, and paving. Oh, okay. I don't know what else they're doing. All right. Well, and we'll, we'll go and look at the railroad property on, on Nicola. And the catch basins. I got a picture of one. It's Todd Solomon. Yeah. With garbage. I'd like to see that. You can see it. You'll see it. I got pictures of the garbage being dumped. I got pictures of everything. 
for some pensions. Just trying to make the town look a little better. We want you to keep those pictures. I don't need it. I want these to. I can keep these? Yeah. Catch base, it'll be clean tomorrow. Mayor, if I might. Yes, of course. Mr. Luca, we will work, the Parks Department will work in conjunction with Public Works to see what we can do to cut some of those trees back. It's railroad property, yeah, but if it's open, but if it, yeah, so we really can't go on their property, but if we can cut what's hanging over our property, uh, hopefully it'll help a bit. Yeah. And that's where on San Nicola? The end of Nicola, okay. Nicola and Hancock. Nicola and Hancock, got it. Mm -hmm. Right, we'll work together to resolve that. Okay. And Mayor, uh, over at the health department, we are aware that there is some illegal dumping going on over there. And uh, we are surveilling the area, trying to find out who's responsible. And we'll be working with public safety when we find out who the culprit is to, to find them. Uh, but we, will, we, we are monitoring the situation. Oh, yes. I guess cats are better than some other things that could be. <laughs> well, Mr. DeLuca, anytime, you don't need to come to a meeting. You give us a call. We'll take care of it. I mean, I know you you you, you got to run around on some things, but you call my office and we'll take care of things, all right? Listen, you know, I just wish everybody was like Mr. DeLuca because... You're a gentleman. You come here, you tell us the problems because you're right. I don't drive down that street hardly ever. But when we, if you, you know, I mean, you guys know how to find me and you know how to find everybody else. And we're we're happy to help because you know what? It's the outskirts of Nutley, but we're still Nutley. And your family, both of you have been here a long, long time. So we want everybody to be happy. But if we don't hear it ourselves, then you're telling one of our employees or something. It doesn't, a lot of times it doesn't make it up to us. But I just want to say thank you for being a gentleman that you always are. Yeah. Thank you. Nice seeing you. Thank Mayor, you. Mayor, uh, Mayor, when you go, you know, set that up. Uh, Dave Berry, instruction official, why not? If you're going down there together, right, and health department is looking at it, just go down there together. So it's, it's a one stop. There's other violations that are there that you're not identifying, but we might identify. We'll make sure we take care of those. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night. Anybody else wish to address the Board of Commissioners this evening? I thought they'd stay at the end. Being none, Mr. Uh, Bruno, do we need a need for an executive session? Uh, we do uh, to uh, address litigation. Litigation. Yeah. 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 Can we have a motion, please? Motion. Second. Thank you. Uh, whereas Section 8 of the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231, Public Law 1975, permits the exclusion of a public from a meeting in certain circumstances, and whereas the public bodies of the opinion that such circumstances exist, whereas the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley in the County of Essex, State of New Jersey, desires to proceed to close exec executive session, now therefore be resolved that the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley move into closed executive, executive session to discuss litigation, be it further resolved that the time when such discussions may be disclosed to the public shall be when and as such disclosure may be made without adversely affecting the Township of Nutley pending and or anticipated legal personnel, contractual matters, and other matters within the exceptions provided for by statute. This uh, resolution shall take effect immediately. Commissioner Kelly? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. We have a motion to adjourn. Second. Commissioner Kelly? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. And the time is 727. Good night, everybody. Good night.